Uh, it is windy and cold out here, guys, but we're gonna have a good day. Super fun day. Just a day out in the woods with Dan and the newest member of Cold Cracker Bushcraft. Super excited about it. But here's what's even cooler. Um, other than the weather, it is, when I say it's cold, it is cold this morning. It's supposed to warm up a little bit. Um, hopefully it warms up sooner than later. So if you remember, probably two months ago now, there definitely no snow out. It was uh, definitely nice weather. I got an e-bike and I took it out and we just cooked some dinner and hung out and built a shelter off it. So I've been using that bike like crazy. And then my wife used it and she's like, I love it, I need it. Now if you ever met my wife, AKA the pretend CEO, I'm the real CEO of the company. She pretends she's the CEO, but we just let her think what she wants. Um, she needed an e-bike. So what I did was I got her a bike. So I did get a matching bike, um, same bike I had because that's what she liked and I thought that way if something would happen to mine, and <laughs> I have an extra one. So I snuck it out today. She only got to ride it one time since we got it, um, just because of the weather and stuff. She's cold all the time. But, but point being, the new member of Cold Cracker Bushcraft, Alex, is headed over to property today. So uh, we were gonna go out and cook anyway, so I just brought the bikes to play in the snow with. So he'll be pumped about that. He's like an adventurous outdoor dude. So uh, you'll get to meet him. It'll be awesome and uh yeah i'm excited ah he just better get here quick so i can get moving and warm up jumping jack still then jumping jack still then This is my YouTube crowd. This is Alex. <laughs> hey. So we have something awesome lined up today, more than just going out. All right. Electric bikes. Uh oh, sweet. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So we brought the bikes in to the woods, um, hit a couple trails up on the ride. Um, some of the deeper snow, you gotta get after it with the pedal, and we have the pedal assist on on the bikes and uh, full throttle. I like to just go, go full out as I'm doing it. So um, we're just gonna hang out for the day, spend some time out here. I brought some steaks, some bacon. Um, Alex brought some cookies, which is gonna be great for dessert. Um, it, it's weird in the mix. That's like a weird, through, but we, we love to eat. So uh, we're gonna get it all done. Alex is grabbing some wood and uh, I don't know, maybe I'll just sit here and watch him gather wood. I, I don't know. We'll do bacon, I throw it in there, and we'll cut the steak up and cook it in the bacon grease. Okay. And then we'll throw it in there, and then we'll just eat loads of meat, followed by cookies. <laughs> Doesn't bother me any. Is that one of our new soup bowls? Yeah. All right, so I did bring bacon. Super pumped about that, right? And then the nice part of having the bike is I don't have to carry cast iron, I can just put it underneath my pack on the bike. <laughs> Alex thinks I probably lost my mind at this point, but that's the best way to cook all this. So I'm gonna, you wanna do the steak? Just cut it into cubes. We're gonna make him cut it into cubes today. <laughs> all right. Let me get the bacon on, then we'll get going with that.
So this video is more just about hanging out and literally eating bacon and steak, but one tip that people uh, overlook often is when they bring out any type of cookware and they have to get it off the fire, they burn their hands or they're trying to mess around. Literally just use whatever bandana cloth you have around with you and stuff like that, then you can really easily take this on and off of the fire and uh, you don't burn your hands terribly. So, and I see that literally at classes all the time, it's crazy. All right, so our bacon's all done. We have it off to the side. We'll heat that back up then in a little bit. But for now, we've got our steak cut up. You like this medium rare? Yeah, whatever. We're gonna fry it into bacon grease. It should be delicious. I mean, steak's delicious no matter what, so I think we'll be good. So for lunch is gonna be the meat sweats, literally just uh, steak, bacon, eat it right out of the skillet, should be good to go. Uh, uh, delicious. Deli it's so, when you cook in bacon grease and there's bacon, it just makes everything better. Like everything better. Let's see what Alex thinks. This is Alex's debut too on the channel. So, we're gonna ask him questions after this. Five questions about Alex. Good? Yeah, it doesn't suck. Mm. Delicious. Good, like two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Now we know what to do with our hands. <laughs> we were joking because he now. Is this the first time you're ever on YouTube? Yeah, I think so. So there's a movie. I don't know what movie it is, but I'm dying because he's like, when you're on, you just don't know what to do with your hands. So now we know what to do with our hands. Two thumbs up over the steak and the bacon. Or just keep them full of meat, yeah. and then you're good. That's sort of weird for the thing. <laughs> with two dudes and like four pounds of meat. <laughs> And Alex now is choked to death, so that is the end of his YouTube career. <laughs> all right, so now all kidding aside, um, now we're always kidding, but um, so we did bring the, <laughs> Alex is choking on bacon from my, from my jokes. Um, so we did bring the bikes in, the bikes went okay in the snow, um, in the real deep, crunchy snow, because it snowed, rained, melted, sort of, iced up, snowed again, snowed again. So we were dealing with a lot of different layers. Once we, which Alex actually figured out before me, low gear, start out with the throttle, and then uh, power assist. <laughs> what did you have your power assist on? Pedal assist. I think five. Four or five, Whatever yeah. Whatever the so highest was. Maxed out on that. And then it was okay once you got going, you just had to keep it keep it balanced and you'd be fine. So I think the bikes were successful. The meat and bacon are successful. <laughs> Alex's uh, YouTube, his YouTube debut. Uh, we don't know if that's successful or not. <laughs> yeah, that might be two <laughs> thumbs down. But uh, yeah, so it should be good. Um, let's do, since you're new. So Alex works at the shop. Um, he's head operations there. Um, so if your order doesn't get shipped out, we'll blame him anymore, all right? No, we won't blame. We get them out pretty quick, the best we can. Yeah, we're getting better. Um, so I thought we'll do we'll do like three to five questions for Alex. Real easy ones, nothing crazy. So, Alex Thomas, where do you live? New Cumberland, Pennsylvania. There's there. So New Cumberland, Pennsylvania. Um, tell them. So he has two awesome vehicles. So well, is that like a question more like? <coughs> so I have a an ambulance conversion. Uh, 
into a camper, which we take everywhere. And then I, uh, when he says everywhere, through rivers, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> over mountains, yeah. it is insane. Pla he takes places it shouldn't go. Yes. Yeah. And then the other one goes even further. That's a uh, Jeep Wrangler. So. Yeah, so awesome with that. A lot of overland stuff he does. Um, let's see. Uh, favorite place to spend your time outside? Ooh. I'd have to say the White Mountains in New Hampshire if I ever make it up there. Yeah, favorite place. Yeah, around here is probably George Washington in Virginia. <clears throat> cool. Yeah. Um, how about favorite piece, and this will be the last one, favorite piece of outdoor gear that you own? Dude, that's tough. That's the kind of stuff people ask me all the time and I sweat and I gotta <laughs> figure it out on fly. <clears throat> I don't know. I'd have to say probably my hammock. Okay. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, just because Chilling it's out. the... Yeah, you go out and you're actually comfortable. That's yeah, <laughs> I'm comfortable on the lead. No. Okay, that's a good answer. So that's a little bit about Alex for now. Um, what did you think about the bikes? Oh, they went pretty good. Like you said, when we get in the deep stuff, it wasn't. Um, it was a little tricky, but I think it's the layers of snow and ice and all that. Yeah, because you're crunching through one second, and then you're like up on yep. it, and then you're like in the soft powder. Yep. So but they did okay. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. But I think the success of today was the bacon and the steak. Yeah, Bike as long water. as you're not choking on it. As long as you're not choking <laughs> on it, then you're good to go. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So that's just pretty much our day. We're going to go back out on the bikes and mess around with them more. I think I'm going to try to do a donut at some point. Oh. your desserts. We do have dessert. So let's eat this. We'll break into dessert then. <laughs> So this is the Tory bike from HJM. I showed it in another video. Had a lot of questions um, about it. Did I like it? So I love this thing. This is like my escape outside of bushcraft. This is, I love to go out after work on this thing, especially out, cause I'm in coal country, right? So I go out in the coal mines and ride around and it's absolutely so much fun. I love it. I feel like it's now gonna be officially part of the Appalachian Bushman School here because these things are great. They're quiet, you get around, they go off road. You see, we went through the snow. Big heavy duty tires, disc brakes, fully loaded out. So you press the button and on your screen comes, um, that's your speedometer, it'll tell you how fast you're going. You have your throttle over here, so you can just go full bore like a little dirt bike, or you can pedal assist, that's what the middle number is, that is how much um, the battery will kick in and help you pedal. So it's it takes like the hard part of mountain biking out of mountain biking. So it's like super leisure, great for hunting, getting around, awesome. So that's the HJM Tory bike. I'll put the description in the link below and you can use the coupon code also and uh, get yourself one, get your wife one, get your kids one, get your friend one. Um, you'll love them, they are so much fun. Right Alex, how fun are they? Hey, they work good, two thumbs up. <laughs> Uh, he's, he's great, great. We almost forgot the cookies, but then, thank God for Alex reminding me. We can't go without the cookies. Do you think we should, I'm falling over. Do you think we should try to heat them up on, on a stick? Are they? Uh, or just hold them over, you'd be all right. I, you know, I love chocolate chip cookies. Like I have a passion for chocolate chip cookies. You ever <laughs> seen them big cookies online? People, they like break open and they're like this thick and they have all the shit inside. Oh yeah, yep. I always wanted to get them and I could just never bite the bullet because they're so expensive. <laughs> uh. Oh, these are good. I burnt mine. Bacon, steak, and just chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> but you can't beat it. And then we ride bicycles in the snow. Uh. I'm not gonna say no. <laughs> you bring an even amount just so we can purposely like, split them evenly. No. I just picked them up and put a bunch in the bag. I'm taking two more since there's four. What's What's really funny is Crystal thought I put too many in the bag. No. <laughs> I thought you were bringing a big bag like that when you said you had cookies. <laughs> Tell her I'm very disappointed on the size of the bag of cookies. Crystal, I'm very disappointed on the size of the bag of the cookies that was sent here. Never again. <laughs> Just don't even come next time. <laughs> You're going to bring cookies like that.
they are delicious when you heat them up because they just get just enough. Mm -hmm. The chocolate starts to melt. Oh. Cookies were a success. Yeah, it doesn't suck. No. All right, guys, so there you go. Got to meet Alex, got to hang out with us today, check out the e-bikes a little bit more. And then on top of that, we got to eat, we got to eat some good bacon, steak, and chocolate chip cookies. So you can't beat this day out. Um, Alex is getting a bike together right now. I'm gonna load up mine and uh, we're out. We're gonna go plan a bike some more. So great day out. Thanks for joining us. Um, every day out's fun though, right? Anytime you get to get outside and just do something you love, awesome two thumbs up um that's like the theme of this right two thumbs up so thanks again for joining us on this trip it, it ah, so much fun um links below on the bike if you have questions about it i know a lot of people have questions after the last video so uh until next video hey check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com and stay in the woods